What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. You're all well and welcome back to this new episode. In this video, I'm going to review once again a product from the house of Earth Al Zafran. So here in this video, I'm going to review another recently launched perfume from the house of Earth Al Zafran, uh, which is Al Dirgam. And let me tell you that this perfume is you can say an alternative or you can say a clone. I cannot say a clone, but you can say an alternative or or you can say this is uh, something very similar to uh, Chanel's Alurom Sport, not O Intense, Alurom Sport. So let's start our review. And as always, we will start with the presentation first. So you will get this perfume in this blue colored box. You can see the finishing here. It's a chromic metallic type of finish with the blue color and this golden design here. The name of the perfume, Aldergum, and the tag here, limited edition. So what's the difference between a normal Dirgam and the limited edition. The only difference is this, an additional uh, pocket size perfume here in this side, you know, this was fitted here in the box here. So this is the difference between the original and limited edition box. So this is limited edition. So it comes in this kind of box. You can see the side here and here, this is the window to show you your pocket size perfume. And then in the back, you will find some ingredient details here and then in the bottom, you will find your batch code, manufacturing date, etc. And on the top, you will get the logo of Earth Al Zafran. And my batch code here is fifth month 2023. So very new and recent batch. This is a box. And now let me show you the bottle. So once again, bottle is beautiful here. Not as good as Mithkal, but still it looks very good. So you'll get this perfume in this beautiful bottle. The finishing here is Chromic golden, but this is semi transparent. You can see the level of juice. I'm sure you can see it in the camera. So, this is how the bottle looks. The finish is golden, chromic, semi transparent. The name of the perfume here in this beautiful metallic sticker, and the tag limited edition here, and some design printed on the bottle here on the glass. And the cap here is made of metal, very snugly fit. It's metal, but it's very light. It's not very heavy. And then on the top, you will get this nice detailing. So presentation wise, it's very nice and it smells really good. So this was about the presentation. I love this bottle. And now I'm going to tell you that how this perfume actually smells. So as I have told you earlier that this is something very similar to Chanel Alirom Sports. Let me give you the nose breakdown of Alirom Sport. So in the top, you'll get orange, sea nose, aldehydes, blood, mandarin. And in the middle, you will get pepper, neroli, and cedar. In the base, you will get toka beans, vanilla, white musk, amber, vetiver, and alumi resin. So this is the nose breakdown. And let's see that how this smells. So here, definitely it's very fresh, orangey, with a lot of aquatic sea notes. It's going to give you that aquatic feel, that marine type of feel, but it's not very salty. And one of the most prominent note here is a note of aldehyde. So it's going to give you that very beautiful, soapy, airy, refreshing type of feel. It's aquatic, it's orangey, citrusy, and it's a little bit soapy. So this is how this perfume actually opens. And then you will find a very beautiful, sweet note of tonka bean here. The sweetness here is done in a very nice way. And then in the base, you will get some musky notes with some florals. And in the florals, jasmine is most prominent. So this is the whole structure of this perfume. You will get oranges, you will get aquatic marine notes, then you will get a sweet note of tonka, and then you will get a floral note of uh, jasmine with some musky and woody notes in the base. This is a simple, clean type of scent, nothing complex, nothing hard, a crowd pleaser type of concoction. And most of the people that are going to love it. Uh, so this is how this perfume actually smells in the opening. It's a linear kind of scent. It's not going to change a lot. It stays almost similar from the start to end. But in the end, in that final dry down, it becomes a little bit more musky, a little bit more woody. It becomes a little bit more dry in the dry down. From the second phase towards the dry down, it becomes a little bit more dry. And the dryness is coming from uh, that woody note of cedar wood. And definitely you'll get some white musky notes in the base. So in the dry down, it becomes a little bit more simpler. So this is how this perfume smells. So this was about the smell and the quality of blending and uh, mix is very nice here. It's not going to give you any kind of cheap feel here. I have tested this perfume 
uh, with the Chanel's Aliro uh, side by side. And yes, the original Chanel's Aliro Sport smells better. It's more refined. You will feel that quality in that blending. But the price of that perfume is around, I think, 600 UA dirhams. And here you are not even paying the fraction of the price. So you cannot compare it in that way. But for the price, this is a banger. Value for your money and something very close. If you can sacrifice that little bit of quality and it's not bad quality at all. But if you compare it with Chanel, definitely you will feel that difference there. Uh, if you can ignore that, then this is a winner for you. For me, I'm really loving it. And anyone who's having this perfume in their collection, I don't think they have to go for the original one unless uh, you have enough money for that. I always prefer the original products and I always recommend to go and get the original. But I know most of the people, they are always short on budget. And I know a lot of people who cannot afford the original Chanel because they are very expensive. So for those people who cannot afford it or uh, some people who don't want to uh, go and buy a perfume which they cannot even try. Because for example, in Pakistan, it's very difficult uh, to try any perfume, any uh, branded perfume there. So most of the guys there in Pakistan or India, I think they are uh, buying it blindly. They are buying all their fragrances blindly. So for those kind of people, they can go with this one first use it experience it and see if you are liking it then you can go for the original one so this can be like your tester you know so this was about al dirgam the house of uh, earth al zafran and trust me guys this is something very nice give it a try and let me know that what you think about it performance wise this is very good i have tested this perfume in my office and once again it gave me a longevity of around seven to eight hours which was great and you can always refresh it you know i refreshed this perfume uh, after every three and a half to four hours because i loved that beautiful opening and that sweetness in the opening that sweetness of tonka bean in the opening is so nice so i refreshed it me personally i always refresh my perfumes i don't care if it's light of or if it's a long lasting strong scent whatever it is i always refresh i always refresh after every three to three and a half hours i refresh my fragrances unless i am uh, testing them if those fragrances are under trial then i avoid uh, refreshing because i want to know the exact uh, performance of that perfume but otherwise in my normal life i always refresh so this perfume is dirt cheap you can have like two to three bottles of this fragrance and carry them with you refresh them whenever you want and wherever you want so this was about the performance performance is good here production was also great one and a half two hours of good projection and after that whenever you're going to interact with people they will be able to smell it so performance is very good here way much more than what you have paid so for the gender this is something which is going to work very well with men leaning more towards the masculine side ladies they can still try it if they like uh, but it's a masculine scent and now let's talk about the age group for the age group you should be around the age of 22 years you know if you're 22 years plus you can rock it easily and now let's talk about the season or weather so you can use this perfume all year round without any issue those beautiful notes of aldehyde and uh, oh, oh, oranges and those aquatic notes will work very well in summers and then those beautiful uh, sweet tonka and uh, cedarwood and musky notes in the dry dawn will work very well in winters so you can use this perfume all year round without any issue but for the best experience use this perfume in summers and now let's come to the occasion occasion wise this is a very versatile scent once again and you can rock this perfume in any kind of scenario in your office gym school colleges wherever you want whenever you want in your malls this is a scent which can be used in any kind of scenario so a very versatile scent uh, use wherever you want whenever you want and now let's go to the main point the pricing so you'll get this perfume in 100 ml quantity with this beautiful bottle and in limited edition you're going to get an extra pocket perfume and the quantity of this pocket perfume is 20 ml so 100 ml plus 20 ml it will be around 120 ml of perfume and the price the current price in uae uh, in the store of Ardal Zafran is 35 uae dirhams so i have paid only 35 uae dirhams 
in the original Earth and Zafran store. So this was it. This was my review about Al Dirgham. I hope you liked it. And I'm going to catch you in my next review of another great product. Until then, take care. Bye. Would you stay on? Stay fragrant. Bye.